Also got one guy right here. So we're just trying to keep from overheating. Never hold down. Wow, three kills without even trying. All right, guys, Mr. G bringing you coffee and cross out. And today we are giving you a new player build guide. And I thought the best way to do this would be to jump into a new player's account. So this is a friend of mine who's been wanting to play cross out forever. And he just jumped, jumped into the game. And this is his rig so far. So we're going to work with only new parts today. And we're going to do our best to correct common build mistakes. Now, to be fair, he's done an okay job. We've got no car jack on here. All the weapons are mounted to the cab. Oh, I take it back. We do have a car jack. All right, let's see what we can do. We're going to tear this thing down to the frame. Uh, whenever you're starting a new build, the first thing you want to do is you want to make the chassis. You want to make the frame. When I say chassis, I'm just, I'm just talking about the frame. We're going to work with frame, cab placement, uh, and we'll go from there. So let's see what we've got here to work with. All right, we've got a huntsman. All right, we can, we can deal with a huntsman. Can we move this thing more to the back? Let's attempt to do that. Let's see if we can make those a little wider. All right, what do we got for parts here? What do we have for frames? Okay, we got one of these wider frames. We'll stick a little wider frame. We don't have a lot of parts limits. So we gotta be careful with uh, how we use our parts that we're not overdoing it. So we're gonna stick a little wider frame here in the back. Move this around. <clears throat> what do we got for wheels? Okay, we're going to do... Some steering, medium wheels here. And medium wheels steering in the rear. Beautiful. Okay. And trade, we're going to pick up two of... Oh, we're not going to have the energy to work with two, are we? Let's start with one. He's only going to have energy for the one right now. And then we'll have enough energy left over for a cord. We're going to do an Avenger cord build with weapon radiator. So always uh, when I get my weapons on and my wheels on, we just, we just test how it drives before we add armor, anything else. So this thing turns pretty sharp. Um, we could work on the center of mass here. And we need to weigh down the front so we can get this thing a little bit lighter. Yeah, we're going to flip over. Let's put some weight on the front of this build. Let's start with some armor bits. What do we got that works? Not a lot. Man, I'm forgetting how few parts you get uh, when you start out in this game. Van window it is. A couple of van windows there in the front. We get a little wider wheelbase here on the back. We will add an extra bit of frame that we tore off the front. There we go. Um, you know what? Can we just move this one back? Let's just move this one back. Stretch this thing back, make it a little more stable. Beautiful. Okay, can we get some fenders on this thing? Let's see what we can do. Um, we'll put the, yeah, those... Those will go nicely right there. Protect our cooler a little bit. And I'm guessing we've got no room for ammo of any kind at this point. Oh, and we've got an odd space out there. I hate when that happens. Oh, I don't really want to use the van door. It's so big. Uh, but we might end up using it anyway because we've got to use pretty much everything we've got here when we're a new player because we don't have that many parts. Okay, Van Door. Got enough armor on the back for now. Can we at least try and make this look cool, Mr. G? Can we attempt? Oh, we're going to attempt. It's not going to be my coolest looking build of all time, but as long as it's functional, we're going to need more weight in the front. Have we any more fenders? We do. Oh my gosh, that's so ugly. <laughs> Let's see if we can line these up a little better. Get something made here. Okay, we're using all engineer parts right now. Um, dear. How about this? A little extra protection there. Hmm. 
Oh, we have none of those left? All right, let's grab this one. Put it over here. Okay. Oh, can we make this front look better? I'm sure we can. Let's see what we can do here. I don't like these frames exposed, though. Let's see what we can do here. Can we move this around? Uh, let's move this like this. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Um, and like that. Can we armor these frames so we don't get our frames taken out? All right, that's, that's better. Let's move this strut back. We're going to put our hatchets low here so we can hopefully damage the enemy opponent. Take out their frames, maybe. If we're lucky. If we're lucky. Um, how are we doing on part limit? Can we get this on here just so we look a little cooler? Do we have two of these? Let's get some serious fronts on it. We don't have two. At least we can protect... It's going to protect our cord a little bit. A little bit. Not a lot. Can we armor the cord a bit? We can use struts right now to make a gun mount. Because that's what we have. And we have how many parts? We have a few parts left. Let's see if we can fill in this back section. We got, oh, small buggy parts. Always a great part. Lightweight. Good for getting you extra weld points. The more things you can weld to other things, the less likely if you lose one part, you're going to lose all the parts. Because if you lose a part, all the parts connected to it are toast. Unless those parts are connected to yet another part, which is still attached to your cab or frame or another part of your vehicle. So the more things you can stick to other things and cross out, uh, the better. Wow, that looks super ugly. Can we do a better job with this? Let's try these little guys out. Like so. I mean, all we're really doing is protecting a white radiator back here. You know, making, making a hit point sink. So nothing too fancy. Let's slap on a proper bumper there. And can we fit another one of these here? Oh yeah, there we go. Looking slightly tanky-esque. Oh no, we actually have a proper bumper. Let's, let's use that. You know what, we have armor on that front gun. We will stick this in the rear because we can. And we got a canvas roof. Yeah, I'm not using that. You're not using that. Not right now. We're going to put another one of these guys in. We're going to put this guy on the top. Can we flip it around when we fit it in? Fits in. We're just adding hit points. Every part you add here adds to your durability, which is your hit points. Um, you want to protect your cab as much as possible, guys, because any damage to your cab is double damage to your build. And you, don't, you don't want that. You don't want your, your cab getting hammered. So that's why we've moved the cab to the middle. And we've done our best to armor the front because hopefully, if you're playing right, nobody should be shooting you in the back. Uh, and we've hit the parts limit. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to move this guy right up here. Make it look cool. And uh, get a little extra armor for this cord just to keep it alive. Let's throw some paint on this thing. Ooh, we've got blue. We'll use blue. And we'll do a little just regular old wheels here. Why not? Take the paint off the guns, give it a little texture. All right, let's uh, check on our driver. Master Jack is the only one we've got right now, so we're only going to get bonuses to vehicle durability. Machine guns, that'll help us, and we're working on shotguns, okay? Always check which driver you've got in. And we're going to run Avenger on right-click and Cord on left-click. That sounds good. Let's save this thing. And you know what? We're Just for fun, we're going to publish this thing. So if you guys want to check it out, new player rig. If you probably got the parts, if you're brand new, give this a try. You are going to, however, need to learn how to use an Avenger, which, which takes practice because you have to aim your whole vehicle to aim the gun. It doesn't turn. Um, you'll get there with time. So we got this thing up to a structure of 650. And she turned pretty quickly. Let's try her out in combat. And let's see if we can remember how everybody drives when they first start learning how to play Crossout. Nobody's run into us, which is kind of amazing. 
Oh, landed that one. Oh, this guy's right behind us. Of course he is. Landed that one. Oh, these guys are just standing there. This is great. Okay, dude, right in front of us. Okay, so... <laughs> right. Oh, we are landing some shots here. This is fun. Oh, we'll take it. We'll take it. Who's getting us? This guy's flanking us. Let's hit him at range. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, the Avengers so great. Forgot how much I enjoyed it. Actually, when I first started playing, I hated it because I felt like I couldn't aim at all. Like, it just didn't turn far enough. Didn't have enough degrees of turn. We gotta be careful, though, with our ammo. We are down to five rounds, so let's do some sniping. And let's do some ramming. Alright, here we go, here we go. Where is he? He is behind us. We Do we not put a radio on this thing? Did we have a radio? I don't know if I remember seeing one. We need to absolutely add one. If we don't have one. Oh, I wish I had that cord right now. Oh, come here, friend. Come here, come here, come here. Can we land it? There it is. We'll take it. Oh, this is fun. I guess we could have added some extra wheels to this thing. But I feel okay right now with just four. If we went up any higher in power score, we would want to add maybe an extra set of wheels to this thing. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Boom! Oh, we're out of bullets. We are out of bullets. Let's chase him down. Come on, team. Let's get this done. You guys can do this. Oh, ramming. Finish him. Oh, my goodness. Come on, guys. We're out of bullets. Help us out. Lovely. All right, guys, we're going to do one more build for this episode. Um, because when you're first starting out, uh, it can be pretty challenging uh, landing shots with the Avenger. So we're going to do a machine gun only build. So we're going to need to tweak this and uh, try and move around, move around our armor a little bit. Let's see if we can keep these things, these cords mounted to the cab here and still have some protection for these guys so let's see if we throw this guy right up parts limit what can we pull off this thing let's ditch that guy don't need it so we got two you know semi protected uh cords on the front and one on the cab you always want to mount your guns to the cab because it's the last part you're going to lose if you can't mount it to the cab try and mount it to the frame worst case scenario mount it to something like a grill because most bullets just go through grills rather than actually damaging them and let's make sure we don't have a do we have a radio we have a radar small well we, we need a radar always oh, he's run with a radar preferably a radio would actually help us relay info to our team but we don't have it We'll give this a go. So, we'll call this New Player Rig 2. And it's nothing fancy. I mean, you can change this around to your style, but the idea is we're protecting the cab, we're protecting our hardware, we're ditching the car jack, we don't need it. Steering wheels in front, steering wheels in the rear, because that just gives us more maneuverability. And protect your guns. If you can armor around your guns, do it. Let's try this one out in battle. You know, always, always put your uh, radar in the back. Hopefully, no one should be shooting you in the back if you're actually using your radar to make sure you know where the enemy team is. What is this guy driving? What? It's like he just slammed all these parts together. Oh, he's got a he's got a booster in there. All right, cool beans. Yeah, let's let's see what we can do here. Now remember when you're with machine guns, you're going to want to burst fire for accuracy and so that you don't overheat. And take out the enemy's guns is your first tip. You know, shoot at the guns. If they've got no guns, they, they can't hurt you. Oh my goodness, this is so fun. I miss playing chords. Those were the two easiest kills I've ever got in the history of this game. Now we can hit this guy at this range, but we're way, way too far for optimal range. We're going to let the team finish those guys. And we're going to flank around here. Let's see if we can get on cap here. Looks like we've got someone going for our cap, but 
We've also got one guy right here. So we're just trying to keep from overheating. Never hold down. Wow, three kills without even trying. Uh, <laughs> easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And this build, I mean, it's not amazing. We could make it a little bit better, but with the parts we had, uh, it's not too shabby. So we'll let the team go finish off those two guys while we sit here happily with our three kills <laughs> and cap for the team. Hopefully get our friend here some more experience points and unlock him some new parts shortly. Oh, this was fun though. I might have to just make a new account just to play what it was like to try out Cross Out when it was a new, <laughs> get to start out playing against new players. So out of the two builds, this is probably the easier one to drive. So if you're not used to cannons, you know, give this one a go. Uh, maybe we could find a way to armor that cord on top, but uh, I maybe we we move it back and we drop. What parts do we have in here? Oh yeah, we got one more of these. We could we could ditch this grill right here and we could we could throw that up there. You know, we could we could make it a little bit better. We could make it better. All right, if we can make it better. Why not make it better? Because that's the whole point of playing cross out is learning from your mistakes, making your builds better. The whole point is we have weapons and the enemies don't. So I'm going to go ahead and save these. Go ahead and publish that one. And just because I realize it's a glaring mistake, we're going to go back and we're going to add a radar to new player rig one because I can't live with myself putting something on the exhibition like that that doesn't have a radar. So there we go. You can find those both on exhibition. They should use only new parts that really new players have started out with. You don't need these wheels. You could do it without medium wheels if you wanted. They've just got a little bit more structure than the small wheels. Definitely use steering in front and back. When you get used to how much quicker you turn, you're going to thank me for it. So recap, top tips. Cab armored. Front mostly. Uh, a little bit on the sides. Weapons. Armor those if you can too. Anything important, put behind the cab because the cab is the last thing you're going to lose. So if you've got a radiator, if you've got a cooler, stick it back there. Radar, stick it back there. If you've got a car jack, just take that off now. That's energy you should be using for weapons. If your car is flipping over, you need to build a better car and work on your driving. And then lastly, learn to use this cannon. The Avenger is really good. It is an excellent weapon. You just need to learn to steer your vehicle, which is what aims your weapon. That is it for this one. New player tips from Mr. G. I hope you guys enjoy Cross Out. If you are new to the channel, throw us a sub. Uh, if you like this video, throw us a like. And if you need help on your builds, come by our Discord and we'll gladly help you work on what you're building. That's it for this one. Mr. G out. Mm -hmm.